Hello, Joseph Clay here with my Kentucky Derby picks for 2022. This podcast is sponsored by Bloodstock Evaluator. So this podcast is all dedicated to giving you a derby winner. And it's all coming from the breeding perspective. So many of these podcasts from other tipsters out there are coming from, you know, speed, betting, and they're not looking at it through the pedigree of the thoroughbred. I'm a thoroughbred breeder. I've grown up with horses, breeding race horses in Kentucky. And so through history, the Kentucky Derby is the true test of the classic thoroughbred that can stay a mile and a quarter in the United States. Today, in 2022, most thoroughbreds aren't bred to go a mile and a quarter. Only a certain percentage are actually bred to do that. And I utilize a, a tool from Bloodstock Evaluator that measures the six foundation sires of the thoroughbred that have a prepotent influence on each horse. And since 2006, I have picked 10 derby winners from this system. The key is being able to get the winner of the race, and then you can, if you do the exotic wagering, the bets, the trifecta, the superfecta, then you can factor in some of the horses that don't, they can't stay, but are, that have the speed and to, and, and the certain amount of stand them up. But the big thing is turn of foot as well. And this year, because of this sire candy ride, who's made a really tremendous start with his young sire, Gunrunner, um, as well as he's influenced uh, being a broodmare sire as well. He has some runners in this race uh, that can make a difference uh, with turn of foot factor. So to go on to uh, the who my derby picks are, um, for, so, who I feel like that can win the Kentucky Derby is Mo Donegal. This horse won the the last time out inside post position, the Wood Memorial. This horse is by Uncle Mo. Um, he has um, a good stamina profile in utilizing their system. So the Voyeur system, uh, the higher these influences of the algorithm numbers, uh, like in the 90s, and I've seen this with Animal Kingdom, uh, Big Brown, uh, with, with, an, with Barbaro, they all had these high numbers and they came from off the pace. Um, and you're pretty much guaranteed a strong pace with 20 horses. It's very unusual. It's the only race in, in the United States that has 20 horses. So with that many horses, you're guaranteed that amount. Now, we also have to factor in the, a fast track. Now, if it's a sloppy track, then we have to really throw out these longer uh, come uh, off the pace horses and look at more speed horses that like um, that can stay up front and um, have the turn of foot factor. So the horse that I really like is uh, Mo Donegal to win, and then. Uh, Cyper Knife to place, and then Crown Pride to show. With the Kentucky Derby, the odds are so high that you really, you need to be able to, in my experience anyway, you have to have a couple horses to be able to count on. If you're, uh, one horse gets blocked behind horses, so you you're able to kind of cover yourself um so then i have crown pride as well the japanese horse he's a stain horse as well 
he's truly the best staying horse, but can he be able to uh, race in the United States in the fast pace of American racing? It's really, really tough. And it's totally different than any type of racing in Japan uh, because they go at such fast pace and there's so many horses in the race and he's coming from a long distance. But he's, you know, so far the Japanese uh, trainers and breeders, you know, they breed wonderful horses and this year might be the, the year. I mean, they've won in Saudi Arabia um, they won at Keeneland last year um, in the Breeders' Cup. So there's, you know, he he's certainly one to have in your uh, trifecta, uh, and you know, a little bit on the nose to win. So um, how's this race going to be? You know, starting off. Well, you know, Epicenter's the favorite. Actually, Epicenter. Um, has a real high turn of foot factor. Like I had just said earlier, how Candy Ride is making a difference. Well, um, this horse Epicenter is his dam. His his mother is uh, by Candy Ride. Um, out of uh, a King of Kings Saddler's Well, so there's a bit of stamina, but actually a huge turn of foot so the strongest influence of this horse is turn of foot and that's the hermit that's the one of the foundation sire influences and it has a high this high number radius over all the other numbers besides bindor which is precocious speeds which most american horses that is their high number so this horse that's why he's he's so easy he goes on the front he can come from off the pace he can be on the pace so this why I'm going to have him, uh, Epicenter, um, if it's a sloppy track, he's definitely going to be in my, he's going to be uh, there. And he is the favorite for that reason. But I don't think that he, you know, he's a mile and an eighth horse. So that last quarter of a mile in the, in the Kentucky Derby changes the whole perspective. And that's when these horses that come from off the pace, like uh, Mo Donegal, um, particularly, or um, Crown Pride, or Cyperknife. Cyperknife has the ability, he's, he hasn't raced a lot, but he has a more stronger stamina factor. He's by Gunrunner, Candy Ride. So you, you know, considering all those, those, those different horses, um, you, this is, the Kentucky Derby is truly one, if you're able to hit the superfecta or the trifecta or the exacta, it's a high paying um, wager if you can win it. Obviously, you want to be able to try to get a horse, you know, you, you bet and win, place, and show across the board. So that way it covers you and maybe pick two different horses. I, my horse, my selections, I feel like with this system and looking at the race form, um, I feel like, uh, and you know, Mo uh, Donegal is in the one slot um, post position. They have a new starting, skate, starting gate. So it's not putting them at the angle like, before when they had the auxiliary starting gate. So they have this long Australian starting gate, which is really cutting edge and makes it more uh, fair for all the horses. So it's not so much of a factor. The horse has one on the inside. Um, so what I would suggest is if you've, you're new to uh, thoroughbred, you know, uh, betting, is to be able to, uh, you know, take an account with TVG. It's an app, and depending on your state, uh, you can be able to um, get the app. They'll give you a discount, um, and uh, then you'll be able to pick, you know, Mo Donegal or my selection, Cyber Knife, Crown Pride, and then you uh, box them all in a trifecta. 
as well as you can be able to um, do um, a, like an, a trifecta wheel. So you'll say mo, mo, uh, Donegal number one with uh, Cyper Knife and then um, Epicenter is number three. So you do one, um, eight, 13, three, nine with 13, three, nine. Uh, they'll they can explain to you on the on the website um, but it's really but these horses all have really good turn of foot factors they all have those engines to be able to be up at the pace um, so I have simplification epicenter tis the bomb smile happy classic causeway and summer is tomorrow those are my horses that I'm going to use in my exotics I'm throwing out all the other horses um, I know there's Chad Brown's horse. I'm, I don't think he just he's you know he's he's done very well. He's won the bluegrass, but I think these other horses have stronger turn of foot factor. Tis the bomb. Um, he has a really good profile, stamina profile, but uh, one on the synthetic surface. Um, you know, can he do dirt? I mean, I'm going to throw him in there in the exotics. I just don't. I don't. I don't think. I mean, he has the he has the stamina profile to to go the distance, but can he can he handle the dirt? It's you know it's going to be a moist track. They say that rain is going to be off uh, by the end of the race. It's seven o'clock, close to seven o'clock the the post time. So it's you know it's the track is going to dry up. So hopefully that's not going to be a factor. If it is. Um, uh, Mo Donegal does, uh, you know, uncle, he's by Uncle Mo, the sire. They do like the mud. Um, so you could still have him in there, but Epicenters, um, Simplification, uh, Classic Causeway, um, those horses have high turn of foot factors, and they, they're going to be there on the pace. Now, can they stay the distance? I don't think so. But I could be wrong. But you, you know, you box these horses in and in your trifecta or do a 10 cents two, uh, superfecta, and then you're covered. But you do want to have, you know, you want to pick out some horses that can actually win the race and, you know, uh, bet them across the board, $2 across the board, win, place, or show. Cyper Knife. So those are going to be my two go-to horses with Crown Pride. I, I mean, I feel like he's more going to place, but he might. The, he he's, has truly the staying um, ability to, you know, the staying pedigree. And it comes down to pedigree. The American Thoroughbred are not bred to go a mile and a quarter. Only a certain handful of horses. And I'm coming from a breeder standpoint and looking at the sire influences. And that's why it's so important as a breeder. Uh, myself, I've bred with my father a horse, um, Greeley's Galaxy, he won, well, he won the Illinois Derby and he was in the Derby and he was eighth and that was in 2005. And it was a great thrill to be able to have a horse in the Derby. I, you know, I wanted him to win, but I, I kind of knew that it was a tall order, but we bred it and I was happy for the owner. Uh, B. Wayne Hughes, actually, of Spinthrift Farm. God bless him, he passed away. He, he owned the horse. I was one of his first derby uh, runners. So it's a great thrill. It's a great race. Um, and this is an amazing opportunity um, just to, to have a great day. So m my selections are Mo Donegal to win. Cyper Knife to place, Crown Pride to place, and uh, in the, the fourth, fifth slot, uh, Smile Happy, uh, Epicenter, and Simplification. Enjoy your derby. It's a, it's a great Kentucky derby every year. It's, it's truly America's great race. Thank you for watching our podcast. We... Um, tip out races throughout the year. Thank you. Good day.